Right now, let's go to George Tillis for uh, what has generally been a very reliable stock for a long time, George, Domino's. But yeah. um, some of the growth may be slowing down, it seems like. Pretty big sell-off for them. I mean, they had a really good about three quarters, and then their Uber uh, Eats delivery thing, the market seemed to like. This is a big pullback. It is. Uh, you know, I noticed there's some uh, other stocks in this in the restaurant group like Chipotle that they're starting to fall by the wayside. But Domino's really is a story, I think, of shrinking revenue base. I mean, if you look at the uh, the breakdown of earnings, that so they were higher by about 31 uh, percent. They printed about four dollars and three cents a share uh, compared to three dollars and eight cents for the same quarter last year. But if you look at sales, they uh, missed slightly by about 10 uh, million to one point oh nine. $7 billion from $1.10 billion. But if you look at last year, it was still higher by about 7% compared to $1.03 billion. But if you break it down, uh, the total store count openings uh, globally were 175. Uh, but the, uh, the guidance for the global store count, which was previously over 900 stores, is now cut down significantly to between 175 and 275 new stores. So I think that's the culprit here from the standpoint of the shrinking revenue base that I mentioned for Domino's. But at the same time, you know, there's a couple other things to mention. They did uh, print lower same-store sales, at least domestically in the United States, at 4.8% versus 4.9%. International same-store sales, ironically, were higher by 2.1%, better than the 0.9% uh, the, uh, expected uh, from that standpoint. But they, they seem to have a challenge from their major uh, franchise or master franchise uh, class business uh, DPE, which is essentially, I think, challenging some new store openings in the international markets where effectively their their growth really lies. Uh, they did denote, if you just look at the, uh, the quarter, 175 new stores, and they're only expecting 175 new stores between now and the next four years in the United States. So they really are contingent upon global growth, which at least guidance for this year coming up at the end of the year uh, they significantly retraced back their uh, their new store footprint. Okay. So then uh, it's some of that, I mean, I guess um, it might be a, a prudent thing from a cost management standpoint, but I think that uh, it, it's important to realize that Domino's over the years has ultimately been a, a growth story. Part of it also has been an efficiency, you know, and a, 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 a yeah. margin story and having a pretty lean operation. Uh, but it really has uh, been growth uh, ultimately. So, in fact, it was like one of the best non-tech growth stocks, uh, you know, over the last decade that people were like describing as a tech stock. Uh, so to fall short of the multi-year high too, some technical rejection, kind of uh, a tough day, I think, for the longer term bulls in this. Oh, definitely. I mean, if you want to talk technicals, you can just go back. And I looked at the chart on uh, the 28th of June. It started to breach below the 50-day moving average. So, again, that may have been a sign that things were weakening or continuing to get weak for, for dominoes. But nonetheless, uh, I think if you just look at, you know, financial statements uh, going back to last year, sales were down relative to 2022 in total. And sure. overall growth in the last year for, it was lower by about five tenths of a percent or, or 50 basis points. So they seem to have uh, you know, run into a growth problem in sales, but earnings were higher based upon share buybacks. Uh, and that's why we saw it higher by about 31% year over year. Yeah, the uh, shift down to uh, single digit growth, uh, that's definitely been painful, but I think some of the partnerships have uh, helped kind of, uh, you know, brush over that a bit, but maybe it's just kind of coming home to roost here that this thing hasn't had double digit growth in, in a couple of years uh, because it had a big 2020 uh, during COVID. And it also had a big couple of years before COVID too, uh, with a big double digit top line growth. So just not where it was then. Uh, thanks, George. All right. Uh, pretty straightforward to think selling less pizza. Uh, that's the way it works. Stock comes off. Uh, at least the rate of growth of selling pizza.